I used to love a puzzle. Not anymore, though. I've moved on. Let's head into the championship now and a resurgent city with a rich football and musical heritage. We sent Clem to Coventry. Coventry, the UK's current city of culture. And where not one but two of the local institutions are very firmly putting themselves back on the map. Specials are once again at the top end of the album charts. It's the actual ghost town car. This car is coming at the ghost town. And Coventry City are riding pretty much as high in the championship right now as at any point since they were relegated from the Premier League 20 years ago. Oh no, I need to tidy my room, don't I? Well, I've just been down to the Coventry Music Museum, but of course you know the specials. You had that two-tone kit a couple of years ago. Yeah, Neville Staple came um, on the kit launch, the night of the kit launch that we had. And uh, yeah, it was a really good night and, and that was a really well-received kit. Coventry seems like a really good fit for you. It's proving that way, yeah. It's been... Uh, What's that smile? It, well, it's, it's just been a long journey. You know, it's been a really tough 2000s and the history is well documented, but at the moment the supporters are enjoying it and um, they're right behind the club they're desperate for success um, and they're enjoying the football and i think that that sort of borne out because the players are enjoying their football as well and it's been a, a really long process and a lot of players and people have played the part Mark, well, do you think the last few years for you personally have been as career defining as that darned goal that keeps getting brought <laughs> which up goal? All the... uh, which goal yeah, yeah which goal and here's robin Now you are this manager who achieved that incredible two promotions in three seasons. Well, I think people pigeonhole you anyway. I think people have pigeonholed me for that goal. I'm sure I scored a few more than that, but that, that one goal. And in management, I'm defined as a firefighter. Biggest thing for, for, for me was, and the, and the defining moment, was the win at Wembley, which I had absolutely zero to do with, because that was Tony Mowbray, that was Mark Venus, that was uh, Russell Slade. The Football League trophy the, for anybody. The EFL trophy, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that was the biggest thing. And to beat a, a really talented uh, Oxford side that was, that was run by Michael Appleton, who had a lot of success, was an unbelievable moment in front of 45,000 supporters. That, for anybody that didn't understand what Coventry was all about, that was a really emotional day, because I remember looking up at the crown and going, my God, this is, this is special. And everybody then started to sort of look and, and believe a little bit more. Do you look at the table? You do, yeah. But it's not anything, it's, it's vanity at this stage. You know you're only the next game away from a good idea. And certainly talking to you there, I always get that feeling that, right, okay, Clem's coming, brilliant. I always enjoy talking to you, I always enjoy the conversations and the interviews and what have you. But there's always on the back of it that feeling that you're gonna get slapped because that's the league. And as long as we don't forget that and we remain humble and grounded, then we've got half a chance. Just in case there are any other managers watching, to the benefits of having a football focus visit and the chat, outweigh the <laughs> outweigh <laughs> the potential risk of the slap afterwards just in case managers around the country are going i'm yeah. not letting him <laughs> in after what robo's just said no they, they won't listen to me let me let me let me just clarify that it's always nice talking to you thank always you very much to you. you too <laughs> <laughs> Clem, if they stop letting you in the grounds, we know we love you here, but we will be keeping an eye on that result later because Cav uh, Coventry travelled to Blackburn this afternoon, so just three points off the top of the championship. In contrast, actually, to Coventry, Oldham Athletic have 